When you think of Silicon Valley, you probably think of iPhones, Facebook apps, and software. You probably don't think of food. But the trillion dollar food industry is the latest target for disruption of the tech companies here. I'm here in Redwood City, just a short drive away from Facebook's offices, to visit Impossible Foods, one of a handful of companies that is trying to replace meat and dairy products with plant-based alternatives. Impossible Foods believes that livestock is an inefficient way to feed the human race, and it also thinks that it can create burgers and cheese that taste just as good as the real thing, but are healthier, have a better environmental impact, and taste great. I took a look around their facility to see how the burgers are made. Impossible Foods' meat-making process is similar to how a cow turns vegetation into meat, but without the cow. At the beginning of the process, spinach or a similar vegetable is ground up and mixed with water, a little bit like a cow eating grass. And then in a giant vat, it moves into the filtering stage, where Impossible Foods takes out the solids, a little bit like a cow's digestion. The remaining liquid passes through a series of complex machines and centrifuges, which we weren't allowed to show on film. But in here, the specific proteins are isolated from the liquid, each chosen to provide a particular flavour or texture. Some becomes the connective tissue, or something like fat. It also isolates the heme molecule, which looks and tastes a little bit like blood, made from a plant. All these individual ingredients are then ground back together in a meat grinder, just like you would a normal burger. Different formulations of it are tested regularly. The demand for meat and dairy products is going up, and there's just no way we're going to be able to satisfy that demand by continuing to use animals to produce it. And I realized that uh, there was a better way to do it, um, using simple natural plant ingredients, transforming them into meat and milk um, directly uh, without using animals. Our goal is to produce a product that is not only has a much uh, smaller environmental footprint, is safer, is healthier, uh, is more scalable and more affordable, but also the most delicious uh, meat and milk that anyone has ever tasted. And that's how we're going to succeed. The only way this company is going to succeed is by pleasing the world more than the animal farming industry is doing today. When I tasted Impossible Foods prototype burger, it's still about a year away from getting to market, but already it tastes remarkably realistic. It has uh, the smell, the juices, and the flavor of real burgers. It may not be quite a premium product just yet, but they've still got some time to go to perfect it. The next stage is scaling it up and making it for millions of people, not just a handful in a lab. This is Tim Bradshaw with the Financial Times in Redwood City.